Hey there guys, the Boulder Boulder here. And today I'm going to be showing you the third mode for Crossfire. So, uh, I'll just start off by showing you a couple of little details that I didn't really talk about in the last video. Then I will transform him into his tank mode and do a review over that. Uh, something I didn't really talk about was... Uh, uh, just the fact that you may have noticed this yourself, but I like that uh, these extra friction adder pieces were used on the legs, uh, and th that was also used on Ferno XL, but again, they just make the legs look longer, and they do make them a lot stronger since this guy's a bit more top-heavy compared to any of the other bioformers that I've seen. And, uh, um, just looks nice. The only thing I don't really like about this kind of design is that there's not really a way to cover up on the back of the legs. Um, unless, of course, you use longer, uh, pieces that are like these upper arms that could be used for upper legs and then twist the piece around and could add more of it that would probably affect the uh, transformation so uh, I'll just leave that alone um, so that is pretty much all I really wanted to say um, and also that use this little piece right here very nice good way to cover up there so now it's time to transform him into his third mode tank mode. Now here is the tank mode. Pretty cool. Um, another link to the video on how to transform into this mode will be down in the description below as usual. So I'll just look at this vehicle mode. The the other triple changer we had was a wild side, yes, and he had two robot modes, or, well, one scare ox and then wild side, and then vehicle mode, but Crossfire has two vehicle modes, which is pretty cool. And uh, this tank looks nice. Again, <laughs> here's a look the back. As you can see, I kept that other red hand on here. Uh, just to keep the color scheme consistent. Another look from the side. Got these spikes all around here. And here on the top, it's got this green head again. Once again, can be changed with this if you so choose. And if you have the part. And then this this barrel looks pretty sweet. Very good use of the sword. It can turn in any direction you'd like it to. Though, uh, unfortunately, it, these flames right here get in the way. But, of course, if you wanted to, you could easily remove them. And that tank look is still there. In fact, you might want to do that to make it look a little bit better. Unless, of course, you wanted like uh, giant exhausts coming off, like uh, dragsters or something. But uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave them off. Looks okay this way. Fix that real quick. So there you go closer look. Uh, the only problem with it being down here, you can't really turn it that much because the sword gets snagged on these parts right here on this back section. There you go. So now it's got a full range of movement. There you go. Try to lock that in place. There you go. So, 
uh, that is uh, about it. Uh, except uh, right over here now that these uh, these little guns, they almost look like exhaust outlets now. And then the, it, it would make sense to see the flames coming out of there if it was going uh, really fast or something. Maybe even just for intimidation sake. <laughs> Got some flames back there too. Those look kind of cool. Yeah. Overall, nice look to it. Once again. So. Yeah. Try to put these clamps back on here. Hold it in place. There. Push these in. Alright. That looks good. Much better. So, just wanted to show you guys the third version for Crossfire. So, that's uh, all I really got for you guys. Um, please be sure to check out my Facebook and blog spot pages, because on Facebook I've got pictures of these bioformers up on there. If you'd like to check that out, and please be sure to like that page as well. And uh, you'll actually get to see some exclusive stuff up on there if you like the page. I actually showed a little sneak peek at Grizzly, my juggernaut, basically, up on there before I even released the video. So if you want to see sneak peeks, be sure to like my Facebook page. And then on my Blogspot page, you can check out a bunch of posts about Bionicle and Hero Factory mocks. And, it, and that's the only place you'll get to see my story and uh, follow the Hero Factory series. So, I'll see you guys again in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.